Hey guys, today we are watching another game between uh, King Spawn and Troll Face Roll, which is uh, also known as SV uh, Gigamok uh, Russian Clan. The long uh, full name is uh, Soul Fighters of uh, SV Clan. So he's on the bottom side goes three guardians we will fulfill our duty. three guardians and dark reapers one guardian squad probably will go on Harris he also builds a turret because against works on this map it's very risky uh, if uh, Eldar will not prepare well enough he can get damaged by work very very hard work Harris can uh, be very dangerous so on the top side uh, King Spawn he makes Big Mac and Generator only two Slugger boys and he captures his base points oh three three Slugger boys I'm sorry didn't notice this one so this will be a fast capture of uh, the map. Will be very interesting to watch this. Um, both players are very good. But for some reason uh, uh, Gigamok uh, uh, did not went on Harris with one, with one uh, uh, Guardian squad. Now he will try to get this relic, but Slaga boys get in there and will fight. Nice decap right here, Kings uh, doing a nice Harris. And uh, it's not the best placement of this support platform right here, it's too far away. I think it would have been a uh, better idea to capture this uh, strategic location faster and build a turret somewhere in this region. Now these guardians will not capture a relic because of the slugger boys. And no generator yet for uh, Elda. So King's already up upgrading his posts. Very nice, and doing Harris with uh, Raw Slugger Boys and uh, Big Mac. Uh, nice job. Yeah, Dark Reapers uh, with Fleet of Foot um, can fight two Slugger Boy squads. Kings has got the Relic Point. He's got the economy advantage 92 to 10 against 56 to 0. Huge economy advantage by now for Kings. And Eldar only on 3 points. This point still not captured. And will this Slugger boys manage to decap again? It will be really critical for Eldar. And here goes another decap. Oh man. A very good Harris by Orc so far. But it seems that these Slugger boys will die, but anyway, they paid up big time. A lot of Harris on this side. Denied Eldar's one point for four minutes. That's sickness. Okay, Orc already on 35 population. But he's got only Big Mac and uh, two Slugger Boy squads. Anyways, uh, two relic points captured by the work. He goes for another generator and probably will make uh, a vehicles or something. Oh, he had Storm Boys, a good idea against Dark Reapers. Uh, this listening post will be saved because uh, Slugger Boys will uh, close combat the Dark Reapers. Mm. One more post upgraded, uh, being upgraded. And it's very good economy for Orc at the moment. And only 68 to 20 for Eldar. 
finally Bone Singers trying to desperately finish and build this listening shrine and then at the fifth minute they managed to do that. Yeah, it's very nice Harris by work on here. Eldar just was not ready for that. He didn't expect such a thing at all. And three guardians um, were probably a bad idea. And the third Dark Reaper, if uh, added, could decide a lot more. Okay, work going for 45 55 population tier 2 soon. And very good economy right now. It's much, much better. Twice as better than Elder's economy. But at least uh, uh, Gigamok also goes tier 2. And upgrading one. A listening shrine, another one was upgraded, two other ones were upgraded a bit earlier because the economy was really low, so he had to do that. The time for war is and what will kings do? He builds two more banners, and this will be fast tier 3 with only Big Mac, Slugger Boys, and uh, Storm Boys. Uh, kings managed uh, them, uh, these squads, very well. They were the cappers and also fight the Elder Army, the whole uh, tier 1. Only one Slugger Boy squad were, uh, was lost, was killed, and tier 3 will be a big surprise for Elder. Optics on the way, but... It will not be enough to face Orcs tier 3. Still uh, 3 Guardian squads alive, but the map is not being captured by Eldar anytime soon. He only captures the Relic at 7th minute. And build support portal. Yeah, he must do that anyway. Arle Queen is not even required because there is no uh, mass of Orc army to be seen, so he just built uh, the support portal and probably will make uh, warp spiders. While Orc is successfully entering tier 3 without receiving any damage at all, his base was not harassed. Perfect economy and upgrades on the way. Even mech shop being built, why not, when the economy is so, uh, so high and especially comparing to the enemy's economy, it's really good. So Gigamog goes for a falcon that will uh, transport the Dark Reapers. But I, I'm afraid this is too late. He adds one more Dark Reaper squad and the Arle Queen. But this is really a bad idea. He just doesn't know what to expect now. And yeah, Flash gets coming out with Mad Dogs and it will be pretty much over. A very good style by Kings here. Some fast touch and uh, serious outplay. Even though usually work doesn't have much chances on such maps against a good Eldar players. But now, yeah, Eldar got really surprised by this. It will be ov over uh, very soon. Even if Elder's economy got a bit better now, but these Dark Reapers will just die very fast from uh, 
the flash gets and this early queen also dies in seconds. Yeah. Worked very well. Uh, this flash gets staying in uh, negative cover as long as they have this uh, mighty dogs uh, solution used on them. I don't know the name of it. But it makes uh, the flash gets unkillable for some time. They receive damage, but they do not die. As you can see, they have very low HP right now, but they do not die because of this uh, Mighty Dog's ability. And yeah, it's over. Eldar loses this. Just uh, no expectation of such a thing, so he leaves the game. Orc wins. Very good build, I'd say. So, uh, Orc lost more units, but he won the game anyway, because he had uh, much stronger units in the end, so Eldar just quitted the game. Also, very good economy, the whole game and technology. So, if you liked uh, this uh, game, you can again leave a like, subscribe if you're not a, subs a subscriber yet, and thank you for watching. The fire casts earth for the